Hello, happy spring to everyone. And today I wanted to talk to you about how to create a shift in your life. And for myself, my experience has been two, two major things. First one is to do something uncomfortable, something that takes me completely out of my comfort zone. And the other is to do a selfless act, some, um, something that you don't, don't get acknowledged for. In fact, um, finding something that um, you can do to be of service and um, without looking for any kind of acknowledgement, not telling anybody, just it being your own private thing. So um, I'm, I'm going to share with you some of the things that, that I've done to take me out of my comfort zone. And um, my life changed quite a few years ago. Actually, um, one of the biggest shifts for me was to leave a sex successful career and um, go a path that actually when I was leaving my career, I was just so unhappy and so... Um, so um, un unwell, I had so many uh, health issues and it was coming from the stress and the ha unhappiness. Oh, thank you, Ella. <laughs> nice to see you. And um, it was uh, a really uh, tough decision to decide to, to leave real estate um, at a time of a boom. Everybody was making lots of money and it was really exciting, but it's not what filled me up. So to... Um, feel the shame. Um, I, I took a period of time, I say, I locked myself in my bedroom for two weeks and kicked and screamed and cried and made the decision to, to not continue with that and to tell my family. I thought, oh, they're going to think I'm such a loser. Why would I do that? And, and actually, my, my uh, parents said, we're amazed that you stayed as long as you did. <laughs> and I was so blown away by that. Uh, my husband... Um, he just says, you know, absolutely, you know, I just, if that's not what's, you know, feeling right for you, you know, don't pursue it. So I had um, the issues uh, that I was dealing with health-wise caused me to um, start searching in a new direction. So I had been uh, looking into different courses. I had already been on a path of, of feng shui in a traditional way and, and hands-on healing. And, you know, I just... Um, I, I just wanted something, you know, just I was searching, searching when I found um, the very deep processes that I, I teach today. And uh, I was really uncomfortable telling the world that I was going in this direction of energy medicine and energy healing. And um, it wasn't easy, but I found uh, different, I, I, it brought out the creativity in me, uh, you know, because I come from a long line of artists and I am very artsy fartsy. So I, I guess when I look back on it, people weren't surprised, but I, I had this um, uh, thing in my head about what people will think. And um, one of the most healing things that I did for myself, and, and it was really challenging to bring myself to this place of, of moving forward in it, was um, my yoga path. And um, I tried yoga for many years, and just, you know, honestly, and, and I get it when people say to, you know, when I hear them say, oh, yoga's not my thing, and you, you have to find the right teacher, you know, the right style, and, um, you know, because it's all about an energy exchange, right? And so I tried yoga for many years and just thought, no, that's not going to be my way. And um, I was, I've been so fortunate all my life to, to have these amazing friends around me that um, inspire me and have shown me through their example um, these new directions that I, I could go. So I'm really grateful to my friend, uh, Christina. Who,